Hi all, we are back. So this week's topic is uh, georeferencing. We will be looking at this video in two parts. In the first part, we we'll look at what is georeferencing, and we will see one type. Uh, in the second part, we will be looking at a few more types. Well, so georeferencing can be defined as providing a locational coordinate for an image so as to place it in a real-world location on the GIS framework. Uh, this image uh, that can be a satellite image or a topo sheet or a screenshot of a, a Google Earth image, any image that has some information about the geography, when you put it to your GIS framework, that is your GIS software, it has to go sit on the particular place that it's giving the information about most of the times this won't happen because the coordinates won't be defined so for which we will have to be doing this process called georeferencing so this process of georeferencing it involves three main steps one is to provide the control points or the locations second one is to allot a suitable geographic coordinate systems which basically defines the where aspect of your map and providing the suitable transformation uh, based on the number of uh, control points ideally we should have a minimum of at least four control points more the control points higher the accuracy uh, so based on the number of control points you will have to pick the transformation that's the first order uh, transformation or second order polynomial transformation so the third one is to uh, verify the accuracy after your map is referenced to a real world location it is very important you verify its accuracy so this process of georeferencing can be done through many ways one is to assign uh, control points or the location to a particular pixel of your raster image or if there is an image that is already referenced to a real world location based on that image also you can be referencing your new image that we, you will be bringing on your uh, GIS framework or if you have the location coordinates on an excel file you can convert it into CSV you can import it and you can uh, reference it and there are uh, multiple ways of doing it so in this video we will be uh, looking at one type that is assigning the control points uh, my partner code pro will be explaining how to do this over to you code in this tutorial we are going to georeference a topo sheet using isri rjs pro software this is the topo sheet of the place in maharashtra situated in india this we are going to georeference it using the RGS Pro software. For this, first of all, we need to import the data. To import the data, we have to click on this map, add data. We have to select the data. We need to browse through the folder in which the topo sheet map is there in the form of JPG. We'll select that and click OK. Now the topo sheet is added into the GIS environment. This should ideally be present somewhere in this area but when we right click on it and go to zoom to the layer if you can see it is situated somewhere in the water body this should be this is because this is not a georeference now we need to start georeference using the coordinates given on the four corners of the topo sheet this is one of the coordinate likewise here one coordinate and on the other two corners but what is the coordinate which point does it exactly refer this coordinate is for the intersection of these two lines exact the the center point of this should be taken for the georeferencing so now go to the imagery georeference before doing the georeference you need to set the coordinate system go to srs by default it will be in wgs 1984 web mercator now change this to geographic coordinate system world and wgs 1984 this geo this coordinate system is accepted worldwide in the further videos we will see the concept of coordinate system in the in our further videos 
again zoom to layer now to start the georeferencing we need to add some control points prior to that turn off this auto apply add control point now click on add control point zoom into the exact intersection zoom as much as possible such that we'll select the exact point to reduce the error left click here zoom out and then right click on the same point now it will ask for the target coordinates the coordinates in degrees and minutes should be entered in decimals likewise we have another option to enter in dms means degree minutes and seconds if we select ask us to enter in uh, enter the long longitude and latitude values in degree minute and second i prefer entering the target coordinates in decimal system for that now we need to co convert this longitude value of 74 degree 15 minutes to decimal coordinate how to convert this this 15 minutes should be converted into decimal format each degree consists of 60 minutes so this 15 degree by 60 will give the decimal value so now we have to enter here as 74 point this decimal value is given by 15 divided by 60 that is 1 by 4 that leads to 0.25 means 74.25 likewise for the latitude value we have it is 18 point 18 degree 15 minutes so 18 degree 18.25 degrees fine and click ok this red symbol shows the point which we have selected and this green symbol shows the target coordinate target coordinate point likewise we have to do for all the four points zoom into the point select the exact one zoom out right click then enter the target coordinates here 74.30 means 74.5 how did we get this 0.5 30 by 60 18.5 Similarly, go to the third one. This point selection should be done very carefully because this leads to the error. If this is not done proper, this leads to the error. In JS, error propagates. So we should try to reduce the error from the very first start. 74.5 is the X and 18 is the Y coordinate. Similarly, we should go for the fourth one, zoom in, left click on the point, zoom out, right. the fourth coordinate is 74.25 and 18, click OK. As we give, have selected all the four points and given the respective coordinates, now we need to apply this when we apply it will automatically go and get georeference so right click on the layer zoom to layer see this is the topo sheet which which got georeference now to visually check if it's correct or not we'll just toggle off and on the layers so that we can see if the uh, layers are overlapping or not there is some major river passing over this we will zoom into this layer when we turn off see this river is exactly matching to the topo sheet layer so visually we got to know that ours is correct we will go and zoom into the another road intersection zoom out and check and see oh this is a river this one is a river this is the road intersection the both are matching perfectly but how to quantify this if the georeference is correct to what extent it's accurate or not we need to check the for rms error the forward rms error we need to check the basic thumb rule is that uh, the georeference is said to be accurate if the forward rms is 0 0.000 and some value means three triple zero and some value then it is said to be accurate if this value is more than 0 0.0001 
then you need to redo the whole thing again. So this is the georeferencing of a topo sheet into the GIS environment. In the next video, we will see the georeferencing in various methods. For more GIS concepts and tutorials, please subscribe our, our channel. Thank you for watching.